This tutorial will help you get acquainted with the UniGraphics interface and with launching the software. For the purpose of this tutorial, clicks of the left mouse button will be indicated by radiating blue circles while right clicks will be designated by orange circles. Clicks with the middle mouse button will not be displayed graphically. Alright, we can now get started. When you open UniGraphics, you're presented with a welcome screen. From here you can either open a part you have worked on recently or open an older existing file by clicking on the corresponding icon on the menu bar. Or you may choose to start a new project from here. When beginning a project, you're prompted to name your file before you begin. Don't forget to take note of the path to where your file will be stored. Also, when you start a new file, you have the option to specify the units you wish to use, whether inches or millimeters. Make sure you are okay with this setting before you start your project because there's no easy way to change it once you've begun creating your model. Once you've named your file, selected your units and chosen OK, you'll want to go back to the Start menu and select the function you want to use. Some of the more commonly used applications include drafting, which allows you to create two-dimensional drawings of your parts, and assembly, which allows you to combine separately created parts. However, First, we must use the modeling application to actually create a part. So, this is where we will begin. Once you've entered an application, you can easily switch to another function by going back to the UniGraphics Start menu. Now, the NX4 version of UniGraphics allows you to set the role you want to work with. These roles affect the graphical interface and the menu options available. You can change the current role by choosing the icon of the two people from the navigation bar on the right side of the screen. The default is Essentials, but while this simplifies the menu options, it also re advanced with Full Menu Role. Once this role is changed, it becomes the default and you won't have to change it every time you use the software. You'll notice there are a lot more menu icons now. If you're not sure what an icon represents, hovering with your mouse will cause the command name to appear. Most commands can be accessed from the icons on the menu bar, as well as from the drop-downs on the utility bar at the top of the window. The icons next to the names on these drop-down menus also correspond to the icons on the menu bar. You can also add toolbars by right-clicking on the menu bar area and toggling the toolbars on or off. You can then drag the separate menu blocks around by clicking and holding with your left mouse button. These menu blocks can be repositioned on the menu bars or undocked altogether. You can add suppressed icons to the individual menu blocks by clicking the arrow down on the right edge of the toolbar and choosing Add or Remove Buttons. Note that the welcome screen which appeared when UniGraphics opened is not the only place you can open a file. You can also open files from the file management options, either from the standard icons on the menu bar or from the drop-down menus at the top of the window. Opening a new file does not close the file you previously had open, and you may have several files open at once. If so, you can toggle back and forth between files by using the Window option on the top toolbar. All open parts will be displayed within this menu. Some of the viewing commands are also available by right-clicking in the modeling area of the screen. Some of these options include Pan, Zoom, and Rotate, which all work as toggles and therefore must be unselected to end the command. Some of the rendering style options are also available. The fit command is available from both shortcut menus as well as on an icon on the menu bar. This option automatically zooms in or out to fit your model to the viewing screen. You can change the amount of zoom by going to Preferences, Visualization from the top toolbar. From here you can select the Screen tab, which will allow you to lower the fit percentage. Some of these viewing shortcuts can also be accessed directly with your mouse. If your mouse has a middle button, clicking and dragging it allows you to rotate your part. Holding the middle and the right button at the same time 
will allow you to pan, and holding the left and middle button at the same time allows you to drag and zoom. Also, if you have a scroller in the middle of your mouse, you can use the scroll to zoom in and out. Some useful commands are also available from the navigation bar on the right side of the screen. You've already seen the roles option, but here you'll also find your part and assembly navigators, your part history, and help utilities. The help documentation will provide you with information about Unigraphics commands and allow you to either browse for a subject or search for keywords by way of the magnifying glass icon. This documentation can also be accessed from the Help menu on the top menu bar. However, accessing the utilities from this menu bar will actually open the Help Utility in a new window of your web browser. The Part Navigator is useful in providing a graphical representation of the hierarchy of your part. Each component of your model will be displayed in this navigator, and its placement will represent its dependence on other components of your model. You can uncheck the boxes next to components in this navigator to suppress the element. Another important feature to note once you've started modeling is the command line. This line is located at the top of the screen and will guide you as you are executing commands by prompting you as to which step you should take next. So if you are unsure about how to utilize a command, be sure to pay attention to this bar. When you're finished modeling, as well as periodically while you're working, it's a good idea to save your part. Your However, if you wish to change the name or directory, you have the option to save as. If you then choose to exit the program, all open parts will be closed. However, you can close all or selected parts without exiting Unigraphics. Closing individual parts will keep the other parts open, so that they may still be accessed from the window menu on the utility bar. And that was just a brief introduction. Menu options will be discussed in more detail as we start actually creating parts. However, it's probably a good idea to spend some time playing around with the interface yourself to get acquainted with some of the menu options before you actually start modeling.